Second part of this little check down here on the river bottom ground. I had this big female here in a dirt hole down yonder, about, I don't know, a quarter mile down there. One little road kicks off right there, you can see it kind of goes that way. And then down there at the end of that little bit, it goes to the right. It's a nice intersection there. Right here we got the bottom right next to, to the river. grass over there levee coming through here about 10 foot 12 foot up from the road so it's a nice spot for them to run straight through there and just just to hunt this this coyote tracks all over here all the time so just a really good location i figured slap a dirt hole right here i was getting a northwest wind and the wind was coming this way there for a minute blowing my scent down down in there but i was just hoping that i'd catch one kind of just running the levee and I did. I'm just really excited. I don't, I don't know if you consider that a double or not. I've got three traps, just one, two, three. So I don't know. I'll call it a double. It's a pretty spread out double, but a double nonetheless. They could have been running together. That's not real far away, but just a big old male. Look at him. You know, he's just a real good coyote for down here. He's just real pleased to be in that bridge or three, let me tell you. Another nice cat. One thing that's really improved my, my my catch on the foot itself is the pan tension. Every year I feel like I learn a little bit more, and that pan tension is incredibly important. Three, almost four pounds. It was, it was crazy when I was setting with the little the tester to see how how it uh, how it does. I couldn't believe how heavy a three or four pound pan tension was. It felt like almost like the pan was stuck but I want that sucker deep in that trap and these fellers that talk about that about that pan tension right there deep, deep as could be the dirt hole and this is just chewed up in here but the dirt hole is right there right there the pan right here just back probably right here is probably about 12 inches back but this is just chewed up the remake's going to be interesting but I just used my same dirt hole and rebate it again i was using that old gorman's steel pan cover steel screen pan cover had rain this thing right here had been rained on and dried out again and rained on and dried out again and we're going to get some more rain tomorrow but I am a fan of that steel screen that just allows it to stay working. It hasn't froze yet. I guess we'll we'll try it out when it freezes. But real pretty Illinois, Southern Illinois coyote right here on this levee. Down here in these bottoms, these levees are all over the place. I feel like these coyotes are just using these levees all the time. Just a real good location. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy. First double of the year right here. He left me a little bit of stuff I can reuse in another place. I got some whole bunch more traps to check. Do some remaking across the way. Probably about 20 miles away and some other some other places. I've been driving pretty far this year, so I'll use his scat to hopefully attract some coyotes in another place. So hope everybody else is slapping them like this. Just keep after him, guys. If you're having a hard time catching them, the best thing you can do is not give up. You ain't gonna catch any coyotes or any coons or otter or beaver or muskrat if you don't set traps. Just get out there and keep trying.